What is going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Wolf Glick and I'm the 2016 Pokemon VGC World Champion. Today, I'm going to be running you through a competitive analysis of a Pokemon called Aranguru, which had like a lot of hype going into the new season and is actually a really interesting Pokemon with a lot of possibilities. So, for those of you just joining us now who don't know what VGC is, it's just a type of uh, format for Pokemon. Um, it's the way you win official, like, you, you, it's the way you enter official tournaments. You can win thousands of dollars of prize money, travel all over the world, uh, and a bunch of other really cool stuff. You can meet some really cool people. So, that's the format that we're going to be going in. There are other formats, of course. Anyways, back to the Pokemon at hand, Aranguru. Very interesting Pokemon um, because of a number of reasons. First of all, its abilities are really, really solid. Inner Focus and Symbiosis aren't the ones we're going to be focusing on because Telepathy is traditionally like the better ability in doubles, depending on the team, um, but especially with Aranguru, I think. Uh, but Symbiosis has a lot of really cool uses. Keep that in mind. We'll come back to it later. Important things about Aranguru. Let's go down to its stats down here. It has very good defenses. High HP, decent defense, good special defense. Uh, offensive stats, you're not going to be using its attack. It has low speed, and special attack is, is not good, but um, it's not the worst thing ever, and it's very slow. So, typically with the wrong guru, what you're going to be thinking about it is a Trick Room Center. Trick Room is a move that reduces the speed uh, the, the reduces the speed the order of all Pokemon on the field. So, basically, what, tr what Trick Room allows you to do is run slower Pokemon and have them be more viable. And because of a wrong guru's good HP, good defense, good special defense, it's pretty easy to set Trick Room up, uh, as I'll show you in a second. The other really cool thing about a wrong guru, and the reason it has so much hype going into the uh, new format is this move called Instruct, which means that you can force your partner to use its attack twice. So you, you don't have to run any investment on Aranguru, that's why the uh, offensive stats aren't that important, because you can just force your strong partner to attack twice with Instruct, which is really interesting. So, with all that in mind, let's get into it. Uh, we're going to start off with some sets. So this is the first set I came up with, and honestly, I, I, th I started with the strongest one first, in my opinion. I think this is going to be like the standard Aranguru set. Protect, Trick Room, Instruct, Psychic. Um, you won't protect because uh, protect is a really important move in dull battles and it helps our own guru stick around both to set trick room the first time and also to reset up trick room later in the future um, and also just protect it in general and, and give it more like flexibility with what it does so um citrus so barriers to extend its longevity telepathy to dodge partners attacks this lets um the partner use like surf or earthquake moves that would hurt Oranguru, and telepathy will let it dodge it um with the moves of trick room instruct psychic so, so you i think you want to protect for sure i think you want trick room for sure um and instruct is kind of the main reason to use Oranguru in my opinion right now and so that's why it's on this primary set um and psychic is just there because you don't want to be if, you, if they have taunt you don't want to lose um if you're worried about taunt you can switch to citrus berry to mental herb if you find yourself losing that that's totally like a good uh, option i personally prefer citrus berry going in but it depends on how big taunt is um and then psychic is just to do damage on like in general so that you're not you're not stuck without an attacking move so that you don't only rely on your partner this is psychic isn't really there to do a ton of damage it's just kind of there to pick up ko's um if once your partner is weak in them and also just to um it's it's not a weak move so it will do damage these eevees what do these eevees do wolf glick well handsome viewer i will tell you Boop. first of all that's not right um the, the thing wait that is right ah yes yeah, so i wanted to make wild charge a three hit ko on top of coke uh on uh, from top of coco on Aranguru. So this is without a life orb. This is in case Tapu Koko runs a different item. Um, I wanted Wild Charge to be a three hit KO. So that means that in order to KO your Aranguru, they're going to need to use Wild Charge three times, which is like a lot, especially with recoil and stuff. So that's like very, very bulky on the physical side. I also double check some other stuff here. Wood Hammer from Tapu Bulu, that's going to be another big mon, does not KO most of the time. I almost never cop for 100% unless, um, unless I need to, but... Um, in this situation, I thought that it was good to be, because I don't know how many people are going to be using Max Attack Adamant Tapu Bulu, you know, that seems kind of, like, excessive to me. Um, but if they are, you still have a very good chance of the KOing, so you should always live Tapu Bulu, Tapu Bulu as attacks. Um, and then lastly, we have Crookenile might be big in this metagame, so 12.5% chance is pretty high, but this, they would need to be Adamant and not Jolly, and they would need to use um, Knock Off as well. So you can also mitigate all these calcs with, with um, an Intimidate, and I didn't calc anything on the special side, because Oranguru is really high base special defense, and I just couldn't find anything that was, like, really notable that, like, I had to survive. Um... Yes. Cool. Any questions? No? Okay, moving on. Let's go to the next set. So, and guys, really quickly, if you want to see that really quick, if you want to look at the EVs again, that's the EVs there. So, next set. Protect Trick Room Nasty Plot Psychic with a Life Orb. So, this set kind of tries to take advantage of the fact that Oranguru is... How do I say this? Oranguru is, like, expected to be defensive and bulky and... Um, and just sit around and do nothing. So, what this set does is try to kind of, like, let the partner serve as, like, a bluff for Oranguru, where... Um, like they are they like focus the partner you get a nasty plot up and a nasty plot oh wow what does nasty plot do it doubles your special attack stat or sorry that's two stages which for the first two stages will double your special attack uh damage output and 
means that it will suddenly hit very very hard so again this set tries to take advantage of again you want trick room to set up make a ronger go first um people often try to protect while they when the opponent sees a trick room both stall at turns and also to get better positioning like they'll try and predict and switch and that's what this nasty plot is trying to capitalize on trying to bluff instruct um because if you'll want to see some calcs right here whoop, plus two psychic without any boosting item i have a life orb on that set because oh for the next calc i'll show you but um, plus two psychic will always KO Tapu Koko, which is like really, really strong. Uh, I count the lot versus the Tapus because the metagame isn't really developed, but the one thing I think we can count on is that there's going to be a lot of Tapu presence in the metagame. So that's plus two psychic. And then in order to KO max HP Tapu Bolo, you need a life orb. So I gave it a life orb for that reason, even though you will be taking recoil. Feel free to mess around with any of these changes, guys. Um, you can not run life orb. You can not run telepathy if you don't have any spread moves. You can run instruct. You don't have to run nasty. Like, you don't have to run. You can do whatever you want. It's all up to you. But these are just my initial suggestions if you're interested. So. Uh, plus two psychic versus Tapu Bolo, guaranteed Oko. That's really big. That means that Oranguru is very, very, very strong because, as you can see, Tapu Bolo is relative, not like huge special defense, but not bad special defense either, you know? Um, yes, yeah, so that's the Nasty Plot set. And the last set I want to show you guys here before we go into potential partners is just, this is just kind of fun. This is an Assault Vest set. Um, because Tapu Bolo, it's, oh, sorry, because Oranguru has such high base special defense with an Assault Vest, like, it doesn't take damage from anything, and it's really funny. So this um, this is tries to take advantage of. He gets some decent coverage moves. Um, Thunderbolt, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, Psychic here. You can also run Psy Shock instead of Psychic if ever you want it. Um, but I personally prefer Psychic at the moment. Shadow Ball, um, Energy Ball, Thunderbolt. They're not super strong moves with uh, when Oranguru uses them. But the idea here is that Oranguru can just Oranguru can just sit around, um, not take much damage from special attacks, and and hit the opponent for super effective attacks, which will do more than their resistance special attacks. Especially for this set, I think it's really important you pair him with an Intimidate user. Um, EVs are relatively straightforward. I didn't feel like I didn't think it was necessary to go super crazy and anything. So um, this is just some interesting calcs. <laughs> Moonblast from Tapu Tapu Lele <laughs> is a four, is a four hit KO, and Psychic is <laughs> a possible five hit KO. It's pro probable five hit KO, but I think that's super funny. Whereas Shadow Ball will do forty to forty seven percent, which is actually really good. So that was kind of the idea with that. And then I also just calc um, Psychic versus. Tapu Koko? Okay, so why why am I counting Psychic Terrain? Well, you might be wondering. This with no terrain. It still does a good chunk to Tapu Koko. Um, but why did I count on Psychic Terrain? And now, let's jump into the final section of this video, potential partners for Oranguru. So, here's here's some of my initial suggestions. I'm trying to do three for everything. If, if you want more or less, just let me know. Um, Krugodile, Intimidate, and Dark Typing. Those are the important things. And also access to good rock moves. So, here's what I'm thinking. Oranguru has two weaknesses. Dark Type, Bug type. Neither of those Pokemon are phenomenal. Like either neither of those types are phenomenal. Dark used to be really good, Bug used to be really bad, but with the introduction of Fairy, Dark became worse and Bug stayed the same. Uh, but they have added a lot of new bugs this generation. But basically because Oranguru has such high special defense, I think you want to pair it with an intimidate user sometimes. If you're trying to go depending on your set. Um Krugodile is really interesting because that is dark type moves. Um, it resists Dark type, it gets Earthquake for which takes advantage of telepathy, can take advantage of instruct, um, it gets rock type moves for bugs, and intimidate is really the big thing here um yes so the next thing that i recommend is incineroar because it gets fake out so often with trick room you want like bulky trick room center on the one on like, which is a wrong guru here and then you want like offensive fake out mon so you can fake out trick room and then like attack um and so that's incineroar unfortunately incineroar does not at the moment get intimidate when it gets intimidate that's going to be much more viable again this is dark typing but it also is fire typing which is really good for the bug uh, the, the aforementioned bug pokemon and the bug type attacks um yes and the last pokemon i recommend is tapu lele and so that might seem counterintuitive to you to, to um to run two two psychic types but the thing is that tapu lele psychic surge protects oranguru from fake out so if the opponent's copy of they're trying to take advantage of like fake out oranguru and attack with oranguru and try and double into it you can switch in tapu lele um and while oranguru goes for trick room and it's going to be very hard to stop and then tapu lele psychic surge ability boosts oranguru's special attack i'm sorry boosts oranguru's psychic type attack which makes um basically gives him like a free choice vex so on top of being incredibly bulky and like if you give him a Citrus Berry, he's really hard to KO. Now he has a 1.5 times boost to his only attack, and he can force Tapu Lele to use his attack twice with Instruct. So Instruct is really the big thing here, um, and it's going to do a lot of damage. So uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I don't want to take too much of your time. If you're interested, especially in Tapu Lele, I'm going to be doing a bunch of these guides. So if you're interested in seeing more about Tapu Lele and how Tapu Lele works, I actually have a guide up right now. Um, I will be doing guides on Crooked Isle and Cinderor at some point as well, but if you want to watch right now, um, you can go check out the Tapu Lele guide. I will link it in the description down below if you're thinking, oh, that Tapu Lele idea sounds really cool. How do I use it? Look in the description down below. Um, I will link it there. I, I also do a similar style video to this. I will have the other ones, uh, other Pokemon. Sorry. I'm going to be doing a ton of these guides. I'm just going to try and knock them all out. So, because I really want to help you guys get better. So, um, I feel like I should just. 
buckle down and do a ton of these guides so that you guys have like resources because I know it's really hard early meta games. So if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. It makes me feel good about myself and hopefully I can give you guys some good content. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this informative and I will see you next time for the next VGC 17 competitive Pokemon guide. Peace.